Howdy do y'all, this is John, and today we're talking about Redeeming Love, a new movie out in theaters right now. And in Redeeming Love, it deals with this young woman who is stuck in a brothel, does not want to be there, who ends up basically being rescued by her future husband. And as everything progresses, the demons of her past begin to come back to her. Okay, so first of all, the performances are top-notch. I think everybody did a terrific job in this film. Abigail Cohen as Angel was just terrific. Her performance helps sells this traumatic character in the film. She's traumatized. She just feels down. Almost as if, no, she doesn't think anybody's going to help her. And the dude who plays Michael, her husband, I don't know his real name. But he comes off as this person who generally wants to help Angel through this whole thing. Because he's been there himself. He even blanketly states that although it's, his demons are a different demon altogether. And the movie's narrative about redemption and trying to be a better person is a great message for people. Everyone has their faults. Everyone has their own problems they need to work out. And this movie talks about that. Now, granted, it goes a religious route, which that's up to you guys. But to be quite honest, I have no issue with the route that they went. Some people need that, I know. And visually speaking, there's a lot of great visuals in the film. A sunset, the town, the this swimming scene. Like, there are some great visuals here in this film. And to be quite honest, for a low-budget movie, the CGI is not half bad. It's pretty decent. You can tell a little bit that CGI, but ultimately, there is way worse CGI effects in movies altogether. Now this movie does have some problems, but it's not what most mainstream critics are talking about. As we all know, critics and audiences are completely divided on this film. As you can see right here, mainstream critics for some reason have this issue about the fact that the movie portrays brothels accurately, even though the movie's just telling a cold hard truth. That's not a problem at all. Personally, I think the movie's a little overlong. There are some scenes that I think could have been shortened. I think the movie could have ended like two minutes earlier, so to speak. I'm not going to spoil the ending, but it could have ended like two minutes earlier. There's also this antagonistic character they introduce in the movie, and I think they could have used him a little bit more, have him show a little more menace. As it stands, they make you hate him. They make you hate what he's done to Angel. But really, you know, he doesn't have much of an overall premise within the film. Mainly shows up in flashbacks. You only see him in the present within the film for a few scenes. That's about it. But overall, to be quite honest, I actually enjoyed the film. I think it's a good movie. It's not great or anything like that. But it's not this terrible dog fest that, like mainstream critics are saying it is by any stretch of the imagination if you ask me this is a good movie i'm gonna give redeeming love an eight well that's all the time i have for today please like this video if you enjoyed it please also subscribe if you're new to the channel and as always please remember the potetsky will